y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kyra. for today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys some of my go-to fall trends i've been loving this season just so you guys can get some type of idea of what you want to add to your fall wardrobe so you can be looking cute this season girl even though it's gonna be cold as fuck so yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe to this video i hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started so the first thing i've been loving this season is a good trench coat like i just got this coat like i don't know like two weeks ago and i actually mentioned it in my blog um and yeah i got it at h m for 60 dollars and i love this trench coat it's so long and the material is so soft like i love it i wear this actually every day when it's like cold like cold enough to put on like a thick jacket like this um because i don't know it just dresses up the outfit like i really like how this really like makes the outfit look more chic like i can literally have on just like a t-shirt and like my leggings or like and this really like just adds that like chicness to the outfit and makes it look a little bit more put together and like i actually try to look cute but yeah i love this it's so cute this is like probably like my go-to coat for the season, honestly. But yeah, I love it so much. And it was $60. I'm gonna try and see if everything that I have will be um, on websites and I'm gonna put the links in the description box. Another coat that I've been loving this season is this jean jacket coat. I think I got this from um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I'm not sure, but I just love this coat so much. It's so long. And it's really fallish. Like I wouldn't wear this in the summertime, like cause it's long. But I think it was made for like fall. So yeah, I just really like putting this on when it's like not that cold, but it's like chilly, and I want to look like kind of like I'm gonna be warm. <laughs> but I know it's like not that. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's cold. Like it's warm enough to put on a jean jacket but it's still cold so I want to look like I'm like prepared for when it gets cold but it's like a little bit of warmish right now I don't know but yeah this just really is just like a cute like throw on jean jacket I just love it it just makes the outfit look more like folly or just makes you makes the outfit look cute like I haven't really been in the jean jackets but when I seen this with all these rips on it I just had to get it. I don't know. Like, it's just so cute. Like, I just been loving it. <laughs> the next thing I've been loving is the champion sets that, um, they have every color. Like, I want every color. But I wore this in a vlog. And this just is like a crew neck sweater set with like matching sweatpants. Like, I love corals. I love sets. Like, I can wear sets like every day. Like, sets just like make you look more put together, even though you didn't really try that hard. But you try to be cute, but um, you really didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, I love this. Like, if I wanted to, um, I wanted to get every color, but every color was not in my size. So, Champion, if you see this, send me every color in this outfit. <laughs> But I got this from Akira, but they have every color in there. And but you know what? Recently I went to Walmart in the men's section. They have Fruit of the Loom, and I swear to God, every like it's like crew neck, like with like matching sweatpants. And I think I'm gonna go back to Walmart and like get like a, this olive green color and a gray one because it's basically the same, just like this. It just doesn't have Champion on it. It's just Fruit of the Loom, and it's probably only like way cheaper than this like this top was fifty dollars and my pants was fifty dollars this whole outfit was a hundred dollars like i can go to walmart and get the exact same thing for cheap so i'm probably gonna do that because i've really been into like crew neck sets with sweatpants so the next thing i picked up is this cute um champion crop hoodie it's super cute i already wore this but i haven't worn it again but I've been like loving like champion. I don't know. I just like being comfortable for fall and like warm and cozy. So I think this really just adds like a cute little chicness to it because it is crop top. And yeah, it just makes it look more it's like comfy but like cute, you know? 
So the next thing I really love that I added to my wardrobe is this oversized champion sweater. Like I've seen this other um, YouTuber have this in one of her hauls and I just was like, I need to have that, I need it. So this is just a champion like oversized sweatshirt. It's from Urban Outfitters. It is a little pricey, it's $80, it was $80. But the girl that I seen it on her videos, that girl be wearing it every day, like damn near. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, get your money with her, <laughs> get your money worth. But I have not worn mine yet. I'm gonna probably wear this, bring it with me when I go to Atlanta, because it looks like it's gonna be like 60s down there. So I wanna wear this. I'm gonna put this into use. I'll probably put some leggings with it, like black ones. And or if I'm like here in Wisconsin and I wear this, I'll probably put it with like a cute. I think this would be so cute with a leather jacket over it and some black leggings to make it look, look a little bit more warm and like, I don't know, a little bit more chicness. But it's so cute and it's oversized and it's so cute. This is really one of my favorite pieces that I picked up from Akira. Like this sweater is so fucking cute like oh my god look at this it reminded reminded me of like coochie i know pro y'all probably thinking like it looks like fruit loops or something <laughs> but it's really really cute on um and it's just like fringy right here at the bottom and i don't know it just looks like an expensive ass sweater to me like i don't know like i like having like expensive pieces no I like having like cheap clothes but looking expensive. This was $44.90 unfortunately. It was fucking $50. But it's not that expensive like $100 or something like that. But it looks like it could be. They put like a lot of detailing in this. And I really like it. It's really loose on the arms and stuff like that. I'll probably put this with like... I don't know. Like I'll probably put this with some weddings or something. But yeah, I'm probably going to bring this with me to Atlanta too. So, yeah, this is cute. I like this. It's bomb. So lately, I've been picking up a lot of graphic tees. Like, not a lot, but obviously, because I'm going to show y'all like two. But I've been loving like graphic t-shirts. I love graphic t-shirts. You can just make an outfit like simple with that and like put it with like a uh, leather jacket or something. So I picked this up from H&M. It's super cute. It's only it was only ten dollars and I just pictured this with like a leather jacket with like some black leggings, some some sunglasses like she got on right here and like a cute purse. Um I really like this. It's cute and it was only ten dollars. Like I like like cute like detailing shirts like this, like I don't know, it just looks out cute. And then next I got this out um I got this shirt from Urban Outfitters. This really gave me like Gucci vibes, like Gucci vibes for real. So I just had to get it. Like, like I said, I like looking expensive, even though it's not that expensive. You know what I mean? Just try and look for stuff that looks expensive, but it's not, and just it just makes the outfit and it just makes you look better. Like I don't know, that I've been loving. Actually, Akira sent this to me. But I've been, I picked it out and I've been loving like oversized like plaid shirts like this. I don't know, even though it's like um, a feminine shirt, um, I just like having this part open. It just makes it look a little bit more sexy. And I really like this one. It's like a long dress type of one. It's just so cute. It's, it's not that like boyish one, like this one, was from the men's section in Forever 21. Like this one is like pretty feminine. I mean, pretty, um, it's pretty masculine, but I made it like feminine, you know? Like I made it cute. And I left this part open. But this is like cute. Like I really been into like oversized plaid stuff. I don't know, it just makes it look a little bit more chic. I know I've been mean, using chic a lot lately, but. <laughs> It's the truth. Okay. So yeah, I'm just probably wear this with some leggings. And if it's like not that cold out, I'll probably wear this by yourself. But I'll probably put the leather jacket over this with some black leggings. Be cute. Another thing that I picked up was this cute 
like detailed tank top I feel like I'm gonna wear this with like a leather jacket and some cute like black pants or something like to go off for drinks or something like that I really like this because it's just a lot of details on it and it's just like cute, like a put together like tank top thing like it's just like sexy and I like it it's cute my go-to style in like for anything is like a basic white t-shirt with like anything so a basic white v-neck that's what i should say and this one is from zara i think this was like ten dollars and zara really has some cute like good material like basic t-shirts like this so yeah these are like a basic white v-neck it's like literally my go-to like in any season so yeah with some sweatpants leggings whatever it just makes <laughs> Cute. So the last thing that I picked up was this um, turtleneck dress from H&M. I love sweaters, well, well turtlenecks, with like a thick neck. Like I like it. It looks a little bit more chic and like cute. I love it. Like I don't like the skinny turtlenecks. I don't care for those. But the ones with the thick like turtleneck like this, it just looks, looks more chic. Honestly, and more expensive. So that's why I like this and I'll probably put this with like a leather jacket and some leggings and some boots. Cute. Okay y'all, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!